Hey guys, welcome to yet another interesting and informative video by Simply Learn. In today's video, we're going to be learning all about memory management in C. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss an update. So now, without any further delay, let's begin. This session will help you to understand what is memory management in C. Later, we will discuss dynamic memory allocation and function used to allocate memory dynamically with the help of syntax and examples. So now, let's begin with what memory management in C is. As we all know, in C programming, the memory is automatically allocated to all the program variables during compile time. So sometimes to reallocate the memory or to change the size of an array, we must allocate memory during runtime. And we have two ways to allocate memory. And they are static memory allocation and dynamic memory allocation. In static memory allocation, the memory is allocated during compile time and the fixed size of memory will be assigned to the variables. Moreover, there won't be any change in the memory size and location. And in the case of dynamic memory allocation, the memory is allocated during runtime. So now let us try to understand more about dynamic memory allocation. To manage the memory more efficiently, we use dynamic memory allocation. Unlike static allocation, the memory is allocated during runtime in dynamic memory allocation. And the allocated memory is not constant or fixed. We can allocate the memory blocks from the heap whenever required. When the memory block is no longer in use, we can also return the block of memory to the heap for reuse by another program. And in addition to this, we can also reallocate the block of memory space when required. To allocate memory dynamically, C provides a set of functions and they are malloc, calloc, realloc and free functions that are defined in the stdlib.h that is standard library header file. Let's look at the syntax and examples of this function. First, when we use the malloc function, the continuous block of memory will be allocated and the pointer variable will hold the address of the first element. Now, let's look at the below given syntax. The malloc function takes one argument, memory size. For example, if we require 10 bytes of memory size, we can mention 10 or we can mention the size of int. The malloc function will first check whether the continuous memory is available on the heap. And if free memory is unavailable, the function will return a zero or a null value. Else, it will allocate the memory as per the requested size if memory is available. And the pointer will point to the address of the first element in the block. Next, we have calloc function. The syntax is pointer variable is equal to calloc of number element comma memory size. For example, we have 10 as a number element and the element size is the size of int. calloc function is similar to the malloc function. But in case of calloc function, multiple blocks of memory of the same size will be allocated which holds zero value by default and it takes two arguments, that is number element and element size. Up next, we have realloc function. First, let us look at the syntax. Pointer variable is equal to realloc pointer variable comma memory size. In realloc function, we pass pointer variable as an argument and the memory size. For example, realloc pointer variable PTR comma the size of int. So, sometimes it becomes very difficult to change the array size when we have to store new values into the array or to copy into the larger size array. So, in that case, we use realloc functions to change the array size without losing the data. In short, the realloc function will change the size of the previously allocated block of memory. I hope you got a good understanding of why we use realloc function. Moving ahead, we have free function. Syntax is simple, we pass pointer in free function, like for example, free PTR. The free function is used to deallocate the memory space occupied by the previously allocated by malloc, calloc or realloc functions. In order to use the memory more efficiently and to return back the memory to the heap once done, we use free function. Once we free the memory, other programs can use that block of memory if required. Now let's run simple program using this function. So in this particular example, we have included the standard library header file. 
that is stdlib.h and then mloc function and using if condition we're going to check whether memory is available or not and if memory is available it's going to allocate the memory and print the value of 10. and finally we have used free function to deallocate the memory so now let's run it as you all can see the value 10 is printed successfully now using same program let's use cloc function so instead of mloc let's give cloc and since we have passed only one argument that is size of int let's execute the program and see what would be the error as you can see the error it says that too few arguments to function cloc it means that the cloc function will take two arguments so let's give the number element so save the program and run it and here we got the output so with this we have come to the end of this session on c memory management i hope this session was informative and interesting until next time thank you stay safe and keep learning Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.